All right, so what's up guys? Bringing you guys a quick short update as to the final bit of fixing the little bit of carnage that I caused on my fender flare in Mexico. Um, quick backstory for those that don't know. I basically drove down a like super tight road down in the Pueblo over there where, I'm, where we're from and um, took too tight of a turn, rubbed the fender flare up on a concrete post, which I took the truck on stock wheels. So my stock wheels are tucked in under the fender flare and the fender flare took the damage. Um, I had a lawn care customer that used to do, I have a lawn care customer that used to do body work and he helped me out with basically like the whole little project. I just mentioned it to him and he was willing to, to help me out. So just going to um, turn camera around and show you guys the last bit of it. Uh, last video, you should, you could have seen the fender flare uh, primered and um, just going to talk to you guys about the little processes that we did to restore it. I'm not, I don't know about like auto body work, so I'm not going to you know pretend to know like what i'm really talking about i'm just telling you what we did and how we went about it um for those of you that don't know like the deepest gouge was like right here and then it had just kind of gotten scratched all up the top just took a pneumatic uh sander and sanded it all pretty smooth right there we did have to touch a little bit of bondo which that's the only spot that's still not perfect just because that gouge was like a little bit deeper in the fender flare but um i can definitely still live with that much better you know to how it used to be um then you know uh sand it all by hand too to kind of rough up the paint um like i said did a little bit of bondo there sanded the bondo with a block and then primered uh block to the primer and then hit with paint and i would definitely say that it looks a lot better this is like the one little imperfection i can't remember what happened there i think something uh fell off of the paper um and did that so the thing it it does need to be like wet sanded and then buffed because it does have a little bit of like orange peel um, which he said he would do next time around that I was over at his house uh, doing lawn service for him and uh, yeah he's been super cool about the whole process he taught me a lot um, I personally you know like the best thing that I've painted is my toolbox lid which just came out pretty good this time around but I've definitely done rougher jobs with paint so that's why I never took it on myself but yep truck looks a lot better kind of restored to a former glory I would definitely say it's a 10 footer you know looks pretty good from over here you start to get a little closer you'll see all the all the fine scratches that come with owning a black truck and using it for work and you know trail riding with it and stuff but yeah looks pretty good so for all of you that have been keeping up with it and checked out my other videos saw the video of how the scratch used to be or if you didn't um, you can see pictures of it on my instagram which is always in the bio but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Comment down below what you think, how to turn out, um, anything that you would recommend doing different. If you do do auto paint and body, uh, let me know and greatly appreciate it guys. Y'all leave a like, share, subscribe, and, uh, y'all have a good one.